Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome into the Monday morning edition of the Daily Juice podcast right here on bettingpros.com. Always being brought to you by BetMGM. My name is Matt Peralt here with you every single morning. You can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt if you would like to do so. Good start to the week. A 4-3 and three, uh, Sunday, but some good plus money, some good plus hits, and it was a fun sweat. We had all sorts of action flying around. At one point, there were four games, four events on TV on Sunday, all on national television, and we had action on all of them. It was fun to just sit there and flip around and look at everything that was going on. The Denny Hamlin sweat was awesome. He comes in at a plus 300. He nails the top three. That was great on the Roval course at Daytona. We got Max Homa coming in here with the top. Well, I had him in the top 20. He won the whole damn thing. So if you bet him at 60 to 1, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, that chip on the shoulder. Somebody pointed that out on Twitter like I was talking about on the podcast that he was kind of mad about not getting the attention He's from that part of the country, and he played incredibly well. He beats Tony Finau, who again is the bridesmaid. That guy just every single week, it feels like he's the bridesmaid. But he loses in a playoff, and Max Homa gets the victory. Patrick Cantlay tied for 14th. We had him in the top 10. If he had one more birdie on Sunday, that bet would have cashed. So that was a bummer. We were I was hoping to get that one right, but we got that one wrong. So two, uh, one and one, and two, or, or, or one and one, in golf, but up on that plus 200 bet for Max Homa, so that's great. So we we went up plus money there, plus 300 on NASCAR, so that was great. We wound up getting uh, the Washington and Devils game. The over six goals came through. That cashed. Drake came through again at minus 12.5. The worst bet of the day by far was Cincinnati plus 13.5. They got their doors blown off by Houston. They had no problems with that team in Cincinnati. It was ugly and ugly early in that game. We had no chance of covering that. That was a bad bet. And then the Boston Celtics, man, they're up 24 points on the road at New Orleans, and they lose the game in overtime. That game had no business going over, but it went over again. That was a luck, a prayer. I I mean, I was going to bet the under. I'm glad that I didn't, but I would have been wrong either. I bet Boston minus two and a half. So I either had the Celtics or I had the under. And I felt like both bets at halftime, even in the third quarter, I thought both bets were really going to be good to go. But unfortunately, Boston loses that game outright. Overtime win for the New Orleans Pelicans. Bummer, bummer, bummer for us there on that one. So Boston loses it. So good day. Four and three start the week and we're up money plus money, which is good, and we're up a unit to start the week, which is really, really good. All right, now to the announcement part of the program, and this is a big one, guys. So you know that we wrapped up the cookie giveaway, the, the, sorry, the cookie sale for the Ramadan house yesterday, okay? I told you on Twitter and the Discord channel that we had passed 250. We were approaching 300 orders. So we were going to give away, we were going to donate about $3,000, so the guys at Betting Pros, the owners of this great company, heard what we were doing and said, okay, Matt set the goal of $2,500. We're going to match it. They are going to match it. So with my $2,500 and the $2,500 plus, really, so we're talking about somewhere in the neighborhood, I think, of like three, we're, we're going to get near $3,000, okay? So you guys have raised about 3000 The Betting Pros owners are going to give away are going to donate, rather, $2,500. We're going to get over $7,500 for this great charity. And, man, it's just super exciting. I got really emotional when I got the text message saying, hey, the guys at Betting Pros, the owners are going to donate. They're going to match your goal of $2,500. This is so cool. So here's the thing. I know a couple of you guys have asked me directly, hey, I sent the email, and I'm wondering, did they get my request? They have it, all right? They're just inundated. You guys have swamped them with orders, and it's really cool. They've been showing me pictures. They've been incredibly transparent. They have sent out cookies. Some of you guys have actually gotten the cookies already. They're going to progressively, throughout the week, chip away at the total. They do have a business to run. Sweet Seas Bakery has to operate aside from our fundraiser. So these guys are great. But here is how we say thank you. So Celia and so C's, Celia and TJ, TJ is the guy on the Discord channel, at TJ, his handle. They're the ones doing this for us. So they asked me to say, hey, I know a couple people have asked, you know, can we donate money to you guys? How do we help out? 
Here's how the Daily Juice says thank you to Sweet Seas Bakery. We're going to Google, all right? Google their name, Sweet Seas Bakery, and go leave a review for them to thank them for what they have done. That's all they want. Google reviews is what they're asking for. So when you go to Google, type in their name, and you should see a place to review their business. Go ahead, get to work, Daily Juice gang. Let's do what we do, all right? Let's give these guys a ton of love. Let's get them a ton of hits. Let's help their algorithms up when people are searching bakeries in the Chicagoland area. Let's get them some nice publicity and some good hits on Google, which is where we all live anyway these days, right? So that's how we're saying thank you to Sweet Seas Bakery, sweetseasbakery.com. Google it and go leave them a positive review for doing what they have done for us. They're not done. They're going to be working through the entire week to get this done for us. But it's really exciting and really cool. Huge thank you to the owners of Betting Pros. Just an awesome gesture. We're going to raise nearly three grand from the audience. My 2500 from the DraftKings contest and now the $2,500 coming from the Betting Pros owners. $7,500 being donated over the course of a month plus is pretty darn cool. That's really, really cool and super exciting for us here on the Daily Juice. All right, speaking of things you guys can get involved with, the Giannis Antetokounmpo autograph signed jersey giveaway is rapidly approaching, okay? We got about a week left here. If you haven't given your review to this podcast of the Daily Juice, you can do so by going to Apple Stitcher, Leave your review, screenshot it, and go to bettingpros.com slash juice. Reminder on the Giannis giveaway, if you already entered into an other contest, you're good, okay? This is people have not gone and entered into it yet. Please, please do that. Get involved, and you could win an autograph Giannis Antetokounmpo jersey, which is really darn cool from Pristine Auctions. Final thing before we get to the picks for today, you guys know about the BetMGM offer. It's a $600 up to risk-free bet up to $600 when you use the promo code JUICE100 when you sign up for a new account with BetMGM. This is available, and you must be physically located in these states to participate in this. New Jersey, Colorado, Indiana, Tennessee, Iowa, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. You also must be 21 years or older to participate Go to BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. Please gamble responsibly. Got a gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700 in Colorado, Nevada. 1-800-GAMBLER in New Jersey and West Virginia. Or 1-800-9-WITH-IT in Indiana. All right. So here today on a Monday, we debut a brand new bet. This first bet comes from you guys. You guys from the Discord channel. So we talked about this a little bit yesterday, a little bit before. I said, okay, so we're going to try to kind of like crowdsource this a bit. We're going to have you guys go, and we're going to have you argue amongst yourselves about how are we going to be picking a bet every Monday. I will bet this bet for a half a unit, and I posted the ticket in the Discord channel on the Daily Juice Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat for the invite to get in. I went ahead and posted it and said, here is my bet. And you guys argued, went back and forth, and the selection was Duke taking on Syracuse. Syracuse on the road. Duke laying five. This number is either five or five and a half. I got five here in Vegas. Duke has looked good. Covered their last three games. They're starting to turn it around. On the other side, Syracuse is a tough team to play, right? And after a kid opted out of Duke... Jim Beheim had some interesting comments about, well, the team's better off without him. I don't know if you want to say those things. Jim Beheim's team has not been that great this year against the number. They're 8-11, and 11, but Duke is 6-12 and 12 against the number. Yet the guys in the Discord channel went back and forth, back and forth. The, the, the consensus pick was Duke laying 5 at home against Syracuse. Duke is 6-8 and eight against the spread in the conference. Syracuse is 5-7 and seven against the spread in the conference, but they did cover their last game against Notre Dame. They won by 8 at home as 2.5-point favorites. Okay. I, I've kind of reverse-engineered that a little bit because you guys make the pick, and then I'll kind of explain it so it's not really my bet. It's your bet. But every Sunday, every Sunday in the Discord channel, if you guys want to be a part of this, just join the Discord, bettingpros.com slash chat. Come on in to the Daily Juice channel. Have some conversations on Sunday. Recommend a play. There were some people standing on a table for Texas State today saying Texas State, Texas State, but then ultimately I stayed out of it. I didn't chime in. I just said, hey, you guys tell me. 
there were some people who want it done in a more organized fashion with a poll, but I kind of want to let it go organically. I want to see what you guys do with it. I'm going to let you guys make the play and make the picks. So I'm just going to sit back and you guys tell me. Duke minus five is the official play for the first ever Discord crowdsource Daily Juice audience bet for Monday here for the Daily Juice. Now me, I've got three bets today and one other in college basketball, which I can't give you yet because I don't know the number yet for Drake. But if the books are going to do what they have done consistently this season is the number is going to be like 12 and a half. It was 12 and a half for the first game and Drake won by 14. OK, it was a little bit sweaty there at the end. OK, they were up big and they let Evansville kind of come back a little bit. My guess is the number is going to be like 13. We're going to bet it again. <laughs> Just lay Drake once again at home against the Nap Center. They're in the Nap Center against Evansville. They won by 14. Lay it again. I think they win by even more this time around. Drake minus 13, probably up to 15 is where I'm going to bet this. OK, I can't bet it yet, but I'm just going to tell you Drake minus 13, 14, 15. I'll lay the points with Drake up to 15. Once we get to 15, I probably will pump the brakes a bit. But the number shouldn't be that much higher than 12 and a half or 13, as it was in the first game. They go right back at it here on a Monday. So Drake and Duke lay in their numbers, five and whatever Drake is going to be. Now, hockey's been good to us, okay? Went 2-0 and in hockey, 3-0 and over the last two days for our hockey bets. There's a unique opportunity here to bet the Tampa Bay Lightning. And they are on the road at the Hurricanes, where they played on Saturday, and they lost the game for nothing. They got torched in that game for nothing. This is a great bounce back spot, and they're not heavily favored. One of the things that I like about this is okay, so you get a you get a road favorite, which is not great in the NHL right now. But at minus one twenty six is where I got it here in Vegas. Money line, the Lightning minus one twenty six. Come on now. You know they're going to be angry. You know this is a big bounce-back spot for them to jump in here. One of our favorite teams to bet on in the NHL. Lightning just to win the game after getting shut out for nothing. These two teams are very talented. They could meet in the postseason. They're obviously battling here with the American side of things. Tampa, money line, minus 126 is the one hockey bet. And the one NBA bet is... Look, I don't need to go into this all this. <laughs> so the Hornets, on a last-second Terry Rozier jumper, beat the Warriors. And a lot of people like these Hornets a lot. And they say, you know, look what happened with the addition of Gordon Hayward. And they've played. They've been surprisingly decent this year. And some people are thinking that they're kind of one of these, like, sleeper teams that may shock some people. But, look... The Utah Jazz are laying 12 points at home against Charlotte. They don't just beat people at home. They have crushed people at home. They are 12-2-1 against the number at home. They are 22-7-1 overall. Yep, they lost the last game to the Clippers. Like the Lightning, we've got the Utah Jazz coming off of a loss. Yep, a win for Golden State, but the game before that at home. Oh, I guess that was at home against Golden State. I thought it was on the road. It was home for Golden State. Excuse me. It was a home game. They won that game by two. And then San Antonio at home. They were four-point dogs. They lost by 12. This is a bounce-back spot for Utah. It's a big number. Okay, 12 points is a big number, but I'm just going to go back and hope that the tr they pick right back up where they left off, where they covered by 11.5, 2.5, 11, 11.5, 8.5, 3, 9, 11, and it's just one little blip because they played Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, and they got Mike Conley back, but they were up against a team that was fully loaded. And the Clippers are a really good team at home, probably a better team than the Utah Jazz are at home. So I'm going to lay the 12 points here with the Utah Jazz at home against Charlotte. They, they've been decent on the road. I, I'm not going to knock it. I'm not going to say that they haven't been you know, completely awful on the road. Over the last 10, Charlotte is 6-3-1 and one to the number. On the road, they're 7-5 and five on the road to the number. So they've, been, they've played well uh, you know, against the spread. But you just look at where this where the Utah Jazz team is at home. Uh, they're 12-2 and one. Like I mentioned, the last 10, they're eight, one and one. Just I'm just gonna jump back on Utah here and just you know ride it until it completely throws us off and we don't get anything of real quality numbers off of this for the Utah Jazz. So three bets from me, one bet from the audience, a four bet, half a unit on all of them, two unit Monday, like a typical line for us. We've been going two and two on days like this. So hopefully we go three and one here and not two and two. But to recap, the crowdsource Discord first ever bet is Duke minus five at home against Syracuse. 
I'm going Tampa Bay Lightning money line minus 126. Utah Jazz minus 12 at home against the Charlotte Hornets. And then Drake, whatever Drake winds up being, as long as it's 15 or less, I'm taking Drake once that number does pop up here this morning. I will take the Drake Bulldogs at home against Evansville to win and cover again. I know these are kind of our teams, and it might be a little bit boring sometimes, but that's why we're spicing it up a little bit here. And we had a good day yesterday, and whenever you get a plus 200 and a plus 300 bet to cash on the same day, it's a good day. Yeah, it's a really good day. So we had a good start to the week, a good Sunday. Look to keep it rolling here into a Monday. Once again, if you have not received the email for your cookies, relax. It is coming. There's going to be an email sent to you, which is going to be specifically just for you to buy your cookie order. And then they'll get it baked, shipped into your door as, as soon as possible. Just give them a couple of days. If you haven't got an email back, don't worry about it. They've got it. You're in. Okay. Don't stress. They've been trying very hard to get this done. They've got a ton of interest, a ton of orders to process and give you guys the links. And then check your emails as well. Maybe the link went to spam. Check your spam folder, okay? And then click that link. It's an individual link just to you to pay for your own order. Once they get that, they package it up and they ship it out. And you should get it in a day or two from the great people at Sweet Seas Bakery, and then go and leave them a Google review. All right, that's what we're doing here for the Daily Juice to say thank you for what they have done. That's our way of complimenting them and thanking them for all their work. Sweet Seas with a C-S, sweetseasbakery.com. Go Google it, leave them a positive Google review, and thank them for all their help getting us to $2,500, $3,000, and then that's going to get matched up to $2,500 from the owners at Betting Pros. Just an unbelievable, really, really cool experience. Thank you. That's all I can say about this is thank you. Just thank you for donating. Thank you for buying the cookies. Thank you for the t-shirt buying. Thank you for the sweatshirt buying. Thank you for listening. Uh, this is just so incredibly fun and really, really cool. Let's have another good Monday. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter, at Sports Talk Matt. The Daily Juice across all platforms and now on YouTube every morning. It's the Daily Juice Podcast brought to you by BetMGM on bettingpros.com.